Right, folks, welcome back. Uh, this is not the Nipper. This magnificent horse uh, is Q10. Now, why is this relevant? Well, uh, not only is he a massive horse, as we can see, uh, we're still not sure 100%. It's okay, it's okay. We're still not sure, guys, whether he's uh, 18 through or as, as tall as 19. My money would be on 19. He is an absolute beast of a horse. Uh, but the reason that all of us, uh, I say all of us, everyone that me here this morning is surprised uh, that Q10 is here. Uh, we thought it was just a one-off last week. Q10 is not a Blues and Royals horse. He's a lifeguard horse. Uh, bear in mind the lifeguards left this morning. Uh, I'm still wondering why Q10 is kind of uh, kind of on a, a secondment, uh, cross transfer, cross regimental transfer, being borrowed by the Blues. Uh, notice his temperament as well, folks. Extraordinarily uh, soft and gentle, this horse, despite being a massive, glorious beauty. <laughs> Super soft temperament. Very, very popular as well, guys. So you can see how many people are here straight away. So many people filming this morning as well, including a lot of new faces. Okay, here comes the uh, the gatesman. It's clear here, but I have no idea if he's going to go left or right. If he does, it'll be interesting because it's absolutely packed behind me. I'm really hoping he doesn't come this way. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I would have had to jump out of the way pretty fast then. Oh, frizzy head kid. I thought it was going to get shouted at them. Damn, it was really, really, really busy at the front. Okay, walk into the yard for a second. That way we'll get a very clear shot of these two police horses. And then I'll focus on Q10, folks, until the end of, uh, of this video. All about Q10 again. Oh, wow, look at these two. Wow. Look at this. How beautiful are those? Goodness gracious, that one is an absolutely stunning horse. The one uh, closest to me. But they're both beautiful. And interesting, look. <laughs> got a lot of toys to get out of the way, look. And before anybody says you're walking behind a horse that could kick you, I'm way back, folks, even though it doesn't look like it. This guy in front of me is going to get kicked before I do. How well looked after are those police horses? Look. Spectacular. Right, yeah. There are some police stables near here as well, so they're going around. Okay, as you can see, guys, it is absolutely chocker here. So I'm going to try and get a good spot with Q10, and I'm not going to move myself because there's no space. Look, it's absolutely jammed here. spot here, relatively close to being directly in front. The most passive of all of the uh, h cab horses that we've seen here by far. Perhaps only Monty is, uh, is a soft and gentle.
Get off. Remember, he's doing that thing uh, last week, pushing people out of the way gently. Never nips, though. Montana guys. They're shooting new Scarface movie here at Horse Guards. because if I stand too far back people are going to get in the frame if I stand too far forward they're not going to get support in the frame he's so so massive <laughs> Other horse fans <laughs> would be slightly alarmed right now. <laughs> exact polar opposite, mate. No? I guess when you're that big, you don't need to be uh, <laughs> aggressive. Yeah, the, the polar opposite in temperament. Absolute softy. So uh, mild mannered, this horse. such a good morning. He didn't like at all the lights when the uh, Prime Minister's convoy came by. Uh, notice the, uh, the lady got a very experienced horsewoman. We know her well here. Um, it's trying to settle the horse down. I'm not sure what it is that's made this horse a little bit unhappy. Q10's looking over this way, like, what's wrong? Another big softy, but beautiful nonetheless. Seems to have settled down now. If there's one trooper that would definitely not have uh, no problem dealing with a horse that's unsettled, it's this lady trooper. We've seen it so many times in the past few weeks. It's typically on a Monday. Horse kicks off, something goes wrong, she's on the horse, settles it down. Q10 shortly, people. Such a jam at the other end.
Oh, guys, the, wait, that was not Karen. Uh, ghost of Karen behind me, that cackly laugh. Great picture that they got actually. Yeah. Look, there's a guy who took a good picture. I was just looking exactly on their direction. <laughs> Meanwhile, everybody, uh, Q10 has decided he doesn't want to work today, and the police are obviously making sure that all is well. I haven't actually ever seen him get get upset or anything go wrong, but this horse is enormous, folks. So obviously the officer is telling everybody not to stand anywhere close to the back because of those long legs. Goodness me, I don't know what um, what set him off, why that happened. Now, look at this tourist literally right right behind it. Oh my god, is this woman crazy or what? What on <laughs> Right behind it. Doesn't want to settle down at all for some reason. I don't know what the reason is, folks, but yeah. Not a happy chap. Notice I'm keeping myself way back and the officer between myself and the horse. I will run very fast if the horse decides to come back this way. So curious, actually. I don't know what set him off. He seemed absolutely fine, uh, and then boom, not in a good mood at all. Bless. Officer, take me back in. Okay, so ask for the stableman to come to the front. They've put the horse back in the box. Let's see if he settles down this time. Because you know what? It doesn't really look as though he's going to settle down. I'm going to make sure I'm running super fast out the way, if necessary. Keep my distance. This is the best spot, actually, because I can always get around the corner there, if necessary, next to the fence. So the police actually went over and called out verbally. I'm not sure if you heard that, guys, if the uh, microphone picks it up. Called out verbally, very loudly, stableman. Can the stableman come to the front, please? Here comes a stableman running out quickly to the front to hopefully uh, hopefully help the horses settle here we go there's an iron gate between myself and the horse guys I'm close but not close enough to uh, to be in any danger okay leading around again I think this will be the final try if he doesn't want to stay in the box this time it's normally two, three maximum, uh, and then they'll give up. So let me move right the way around, like really, really far back. I'm super far back, folks. Let me zoom in a little bit. There we are. I wonder what set him off. There was nothing apparent. There was no noise, no lights, nothing that would seem ordinarily uh, to set a horse off. Very, very, very curious. And now, unfortunately, got a police van parked right in front in the traffic. Okay, let's head back round to the front. He seems to have settled down, bless him. That could have been very, very bad. The sheer number of people that were here, look, they're all way back now, luckily. But, look, see the horse, look. He just literally pulled the troop out of the box. He's so large and powerful, there's no chance at all, no chance at all that any of the troopers could hold him. This horse does exactly what he wants. Well, the trooper said to the officer, he's safe to stay out. Um, we know he's a big softy, but if he's not happy, he's not gonna work, is he? Simple as that. Right, this is the third time he's going around into the box. Third, and my money's on last. 
get back through the main gate and have a look. Yeah, he just doesn't seem to be in the mood. Trooper's put him back in the box. See what happens this time. Again, I'm really, really, really far back. Trooper decided he doesn't want to work. In fact, they've also got another, another troopers coming over to help. So they're going to be two now. Trooper in camos is coming out to the front. One second, folks. So he's right in the back, another trooper, experienced trooper here, coming out to see uh, and make the decision on whether he's going to be taken off or not. I'm definitely myself seeing this horse being taken off. If he doesn't want to work, he's not going to work, it's as simple as that. I wonder what it was that set him off though, that's the, uh, the curious thing. I was never, never, ever would have thought we'd uh, see a Q10 meltdown. We saw how chilled he was, and if a horse this chill gets upset uh, and goes bananas, then well, they all can. Crazy, eh, folks? Always on a Monday. So the is actually going to clean up the box as well. I don't ever remember seeing this tree in the middle of the day before, to be fair. This tourist obviously needs to get a good look. You think actually they'd uh, put some sort of little hose or whatever in the corner of the box? The easiest thing would be to, uh, to hose down the mess. Yeah, he just he just said the same thing. Trooper just said exactly what I was saying. If he doesn't go in this time, we'll take him off. So they've just cleaned the floor. This will be the final attempt, folks. If he goes in and stays in. Fine. If not, yeah, if, uh, if not, folks, they'll swap him out. They've bought over a lot of horses this morning. They've got plenty to swap with. So this is the uh, final attempt. Nope, that's it. He's off. Yikes. He's done, folks. Yeah, definitely, definitely done. Okay, so they're going to replace him. Uh, obviously, that's the right call. They tried, as I, I said, it's typically two or three times. I lost count. I think that was the third attempt uh, to, for the horse back in the box. But as you see, at the end of the day, the horse gets his or her way every single time. Bingo. Plus, now we get a super clear view uh, of the horse going to the stables. So that is our lifeguard horse, folks, not wanting at all uh, to work. Perhaps it's missing his lifeguard fellow horses. I have no idea. As I said, I'll ask my friend at the front, I didn't see or hear anything that would indicate why the horse quickly got so unsettled. You saw how casual he was, he was playing with the tourist. Very, very gentle horse, so real sad, really sad to be honest, to see that horse getting a bit upset. Oh, it was close, this guy with the uh, push chair and the little kid just ran out of the way as well. Oh, getting plenty of warning. Notice the guard is briefly pausing before he moves. Did you actually see anything? Did anything actually happen? Why did those things not? Nothing happened. I think it's just the people like touching. Too many people, yeah? That's yeah, it was, it was a lot of people actually in one go. Uh, I think it's just like, enough for that point. I never would have expected that. That was crazy. 
Gosh, folks, let's hope this horse doesn't uh, have a meltdown as well. Okay, anyway, all is good here. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be until they bring the, the new horse out. It shouldn't take very long, though. They've got a lot of horses here this morning. I think they brought over, what, 10, 11, 12? It's just a pity because not only is that horse one of our favourites, absolutely one of our favourites, one of my personal favourites, but more importantly, um, as I mentioned, we've only got another, you know, another few days with any horses until the place closes. But at least we got to see a bit of uh, a bit of Q10 before he had his little little moment. He will not be back on today, I'm sure of that. As you can see, folks, the horses are the boss of this place. Easy. If they decide they want to work, they're not going to work. It's as simple as that. And I personally think that's the way it should be. You know, I really do. Okay, so the guard is back in the arches behind us, but I'm more interested in which horse they're going to bring out to replace big, beautiful, but today somewhat bumbling Q10. Okay, these tourists are not going to get shy at that, guys, because they're not tourists. That's right, they work here, and that's why I'm not going to film them. Let's see which horse they bring out to, to replace him. Whoa. I don't think I got in the camera, but those ladies were so close to getting kicked. That was that was really yeah. scary. Wow, that was really, really, really freaky, guys. I, I, until I relook at the footage, and it's a difficult one, this because in the past you've you've seen I've got a couple of videos of you know major horse meltdowns. Invariably on a Monday it happens, and so far I've managed to capture them pretty well. But it's a difficult one because I need to watch out who's standing behind me, the tourists that are behind me because if I move back quickly I might knock somebody over onto the floor and obviously of course I don't want to do that so it really is actually quite difficult to film the horse meltdowns here I took at the number of people look constant motion as well uh, and that's half the problem anyway there's our deserted box gates open uh, sans horse oh here we go everybody look at this didn't take long, did it? <laughs> I just, I just knew. I don't know why I knew, but <laughs> oh, good lord! The second I move over here, some random jogger uh, just emerges from the box. That is just too weird. Okay, I'm going to move now, guys. Uh, I'm going to go and quickly buy this week's lottery ticket because it's so odd. But we should casually just jog through there. Packed, packed, packed at the front still. I'll stay as close to the central gates as possible because I want to see which horse comes out and also be very close to that horse when he or she comes out. Oh goodness me, what an utterly extraordinary morning. First we had a uh, little cheeky nipper and everything that happened and just when we thought, hold on, it's going to be quite peaceful and a few of my friends were thinking about going home already. Look what happened, boom. Absolute meltdown. But it's honestly scary though, I mean that, that horse has got the longest legs. If it had kicked out, and you saw it actually when the trooper was behind the horse, if that horse had kicked out, that would have been, well, yeah, that would have been pretty serious. Oh, they've got a, this, this group, I think Rich Taurus, they've got their own photographer, look. Gorgeous. Yeah, they've actually brought their own professional photographer with them uh, to capture all of those golden moments on their holiday in London. I've seen that a few times before, but I didn't realise it's so much of a thing. But then again, uh, as the average price of a hotel room in London is now hitting over £500 a night, and the most expensive rooms are into five figures, I guess, you know, dropping 500 quid for your own photographer per day probably isn't a great, great additional cost. I mean, a meal for four people, you know, two adults and their kids in a... A very good restaurant will cost probably about three to four hundred quid, including the service charge. Anyway, those are the completely insane times in which we're living, everybody. I think we've never had uh, greater wealth inequality since the Industrial Revolution. It really is that atrocious. Uh, and here, at times, you do see it. You really do. I hope this one doesn't have a meltdown as well. We've only ever once seen a double meltdown, and uh, coincidentally enough, that double meltdown, oh, he's like, yep, yeah, right. That double meltdown um, 
was in this exact spot last week with this exact guard. To be honest, I would love to have seen how she would have responded if she'd been on QTM. Because for some reason, the lady guards have a unique ability to settle down any horse that gets a little bit crazy. The guard that was on Q10 is very experienced. Uh, you can see he didn't flinch. He had one hand and he controlled the horse beautifully. But yeah, I would have loved to have seen how this this particular lady guard uh, would have dealt with with Q10. Would she have been firm and sort of tried to make him stay on or not? I wonder. We'll never know. One of those unknown variables, folks. They still haven't yet brought out a replacement horse. He's sanding one up right now. I'll spend a little bit of time in the yard. So obviously, I would prefer not to miss when the new horse comes out. Gosh, what a turn of events that was, eh? Okay, yeah, I've got a horse at the back who is going to be saddled up shortly. I guess in some respects, this is why um, it's kind of ironic in the sense that we, I think what I say, we, most of us know, or if you don't know, I'm going to tell you, how do they choose the guards that are on the horses, the boxmen? They are the best presented in the morning, okay? They are chosen based on their presentation. If they are immaculate, the two most immaculately turned out guards will get the horses at the front, okay? It's kind of ironic that the guards that are so perfectly turned out occasionally end up with a horse that doesn't want to work um, and their glorious presentation is, is somewhat, I was going to say wasted, but that's not the right word. Let's just say it's not fully utilised because if the horse kicks off, plays up and is taken off duty, that obviously means the boxman that's riding the horse is also temporarily taken off duty until they saddle up a new horse uh, and it begins all over again. It's now 12.30, so the timing isn't bad at all. It's not, <laughs> not walk in front of their picture. <laughs> Instead I walked around it and he appreciated that. Oh, um, perfect timing, here we go. Here comes a new horse, everybody. This horse, I don't think he's going to wait for the tourists that are having their picture taken. That could be a bit of a problem. Right, okay, so he's got a trooper escorting him this time. I'm not sure which horse this is. And way back. And in fact, as is everybody else at the moment. I think we'll be good. This one's far smaller. But first duty of the day, this one coming up. Second. Trooper, can I ask you the name of that horse, the one that just went in? The name of this one? Sparta. Sparta, lovely, thank you. That was Sparta, everybody. Uh, they just went into the box there. That's a new one to me. Brilliant, top man, Sparta. So they replaced Q10 with Sparta. I don't know that trooper, so I'm actually genuinely surprised that he uh, was kind enough to tell me. Thank you very much, trooper, uh, if you see this video, for being so kind to tell me that that was Sparta. That's a new one to me, everybody. Um, I don't even think, I'm going to my list, I don't even think I've got Sparta on the list. So we started off with Q10, okay. and then we ended up meeting a brand new horse. How lucky is that? Sparta. I'm going to take a picture of Sparta as well, separately, post it on Instagram so that we've got a reference point. Please are at the front. I guess they're worried that we might have another horse meltdown. Let's have a little look at Sparta, guys. I'll try and get that clear picture. Sparta might well be a nipper. Oh, I didn't even notice. That, that could have been me. I didn't even notice. The guard came out so quietly, I didn't even notice. Utterly extraordinary. Wow. Traffic's really, really picking up as uh, as well. These joggers are complaining. It drives me mad. So many people. We'll go a different route than from. Exactly complicated, is it? If there are too many people in your usual jogging route, uh, revise your usual jogging route. Problem solved. I have no clue, guys. How I'm even going to get close enough to be able to film uh, Glorious Sparta, let alone get that very clean picture. Let's see. Let me go all the way around. So I come back close to the front. Bingo, here we go. <coughs> something apparently has happened inside. I have no idea what it is, but something apparently has happened. 
What is happening? Oh, aha! Well, 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 everybody, look at this. It's a long guard coming through the tunnel. You would not believe it, would you? Well spotted. Folks, the standard is covered, so he will try and ride in with it. Oh, shit's all. Just, it just, just got it underneath the, uh, the lantern. Well spotted. <laughs> I saw you run, I'm like, hold on a second, what's going on? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> yes, Michelle was just like, whoa, she <laughs> ran through those gates. <laughs> Flipping off. That was impressive. Uh, that's the, uh, that's the um, Royal Standard. Yeah. Obviously covered. Wow, I was not expecting that in the middle of the day. Interesting. Very, 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 very unusual. I've never ever, folks, um, Busker's not here at the moment, so I can't ask him. I've never seen the Royal Standard arrive here at Horse Guards uh, in the middle of the day. Honestly, never. It's a first for me. Uh, I think their family member's going into the stable, so I'm turning away. That might well be... Uh, I'm trying to think, actually. Why? Ah, hold on. Of course. Of course. Okay, let me explain what's happened. We have the state visit, okay? The state visit is beginning today. In other words, the President of Korea landed... Um, uh, or is about to land. Jen, your multi suits you very well. It's winter. Very well. <laughs> You're very kind. Thank you. The president of South Korea, um, if he hasn't landed, he will be landing at some point soon at Stansted, as mentioned earlier. The actual state visit officially begins tomorrow. Okay, I do believe there was something on the um, on the schedule about him present. That is meeting the president and his lovely wife meeting the prince and princess of wales i can't remember offhand if that's today at their hotel or tomorrow anyway point being the king will of course be part of what's happening tomorrow so the king is now in residence at buckingham palace which meant that the royal standard came over including that absolutely spectacular gray i mean this could well be the single most eventful monday morning at horse guards of the year and um, we know that as we've only got one week left uh, until things pretty much shut down here for that renovation work, that we will not have as much drama in one morning as we just had today. Monday's always a bit, what's the word, volatile, but goodness me, what on earth have we seen this morning, eh? Nippy horses. Horses having a meltdown. Tourists running out of the way so they don't get kicked. The police push everybody out of the way. And then the Royal Standard just turns up. Just casually walks, uh, the horse that is, the grey, casually strolls through the tunnel. Uh, wonderful to see. I was massively thinking, damn it, it's going to be a close call getting that standard through the tunnel. Because you notice that when they typically ride in with the Royal Standard, uh, a trooper, typically the NCO, will come out and take the Royal Standard from uh, the trooper that's on the grey and carry it through because it just fits, just fits. Um, through the archway going into the stable area. What an incredible morning, folks. Yeah, all this loss of words, which for me, as you all know, is pretty unusual. That was a pretty crazy morning. Hopefully now it's going to settle down a bit and things will go back to normal. I mean, the tourists are here, they're posing happily with the horses. It's definitely going to be a long guard, so that much we do know 100%. Um, the only problem with that is that I, folks, will not be here this afternoon to see the long guard. Uh, much to my great disappointment, I must say. That said, um, there will almost certainly, I'm talking about a sort of 99% 99 chance, be a long guard tomorrow as well.
pure luck actually that one of my friends spotted the uh, the horse coming through the tunnel. I had no clue. I would have missed that completely. Thank you. People being super polite and uh, not, not uh, wanting to get themselves in my frame accidentally. This lady's absolutely obsessed with getting super close ups of the horses. Maybe we should tell her that there is a zoom function on her phone, which uh, is an iPhone 13, I think. You need that. Even the uh, the female troop is a little bit like. Hold on a second. Dutch. The uh, blonde lady's Dutch. Not that it matters. I just thought I'd mention it. Okay, so back at the other end, there is a pretty big crush here at the front. Uh, the new horse. Here we go. Oh, very very distinctive. This one. Look at that mark. Sparta, let me quickly grab a picture while he's looking this way. Sparta has a very, very unusual mark. That is the mark, guys, of a Spartan horse. I'll probably take a still from the video, actually. Sparta, beautiful look. Okay, so that mark is pretty much unique. It almost looks like a, like a diamond. That's very unique. How on earth have we not seen this horse before? Maybe we did, but I just didn't recognize, uh, recognize him. Look, very unique. It's super close to being a diamond. Curious, well, look, not a nipper, but a very curious horse. Guard seems a lot more relaxed as well now. He's off due to um, Can't say I blame him. A fall from a horse that big would have been scary. Uh -huh. Yeah, curious one, they're sniffing away at everybody. Okay, well, we're back to uh, Taurus Posey, happy with the horse, folks. Oh, that was the first hand on the rain I've seen in about two weeks. I hope we caught that. His hand was straight on the rain. Horse is shoving her out of the way. Look, he's like, no. That's right, stay here, you're fine. Damn, it's busy here now. Blondie's back as well for pictures. Cheers, guys. Nice memory, yeah? Yeah, get ready for it, folks. Sorry. It's okay, don't worry. On my right. I give it one I hope we can stop being a nipper. Oh, can I? So you just marched in, they're trying to get pictures. Look, 
Ja, det er Some in the water today, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You take a lot of people's pictures today, no? Yeah. You're getting the sideline here. I'm a photographer, by the way. You should start. Uh, you, yeah, are, yeah. are you actually a photographer? No, no, I'm not. Ah, you're not. Well, today you are. Yeah, today I am. <laughs> You will remember me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Brilliant. Some super funny people here today. In fact, if people start asking me for to, do, to do pictures, guys, I'm going to quickly take the phone, take a picture of the ground, and then <laughs> hand them back the phone uh, and see if they're polite and say, like, hey, thanks for the picture. Or, like, hold on, are you stupid? You, you took a picture of the ground. That's the best way to make them choose someone else. Uh, take their pictures. I don't mind doing it if I'm not doing anything, but it's impossible when I'm filming. Uh oh, it's going to for the rains. Oh, wait, what's the horse doing? Good heavens. Right, okay, let's see if these duchies get in trouble with the guard in a second. Look. Apparently this guard isn't a huge fan of the Dutch. Let's see. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Classic. He's like, who's this guy? He's dropped my picture. Oh, brilliant. Look, he's still not giving up. <laughs> it's not as if there's a, you know, a guard busy at work right behind him. Oh wow, what a morning folks. I'm gonna need a dark, uh, a dark room for a couple of hours after this, honestly. Monday's fun days, eh? Oh, he's gone back through the gate, which is a pity because those two have got their bags to him. It would have been interesting to see what happened, in fact, if uh, if he'd had to make his way through. I think he's good to go back into the archway. Yeah, it's clear in there. Okay, so picture taking will resume, ladies and gents, uh, with the tourists and the horses. It's 15 minutes uh, until the changeover. look and decide when the when the uh, the other two horses are back on again if they do bring out the first two again and which box they're in um, and how many people are here I'll decide whether or not there might indeed be a part three I didn't typically like to shoot more than two parts in a day because it's a lot of footage oh. Here we go, everybody. When the horse's head gets in the frame, you can't even get a picture of your friend's face.
So people can squash into the into the wall. Same is happening at the other end, unabated, a constant uh, flood of people getting pictures. I don't know if this guy went for the reins there, but I did see the guy pulling them. Oh. Slightly like awkward. Oh, rains, oh. And on the rains, look. Her hand was definitely on the rains. It's fun, isn't it? Some people manage to get perfect pictures, of course, looking in the camera, but other ones are a complete disaster. I would love to uh, to see some of the the ones that come out badly, you know, with the horse making funny faces or uh, people looking super shy and nervous. I, I would say that probably the majority of pictures come out badly, just because you've got you know dangly bits from the horse in the background. <laughs> you've got other toys you've never seen before in your picture. Oh the horse just isn't playing uh, isn't playing ball. Oh here we go. Free tour guide everyone. Hands in the air, whistle fossey. Look. Of the palace that doesn't exist. Very clever. Oh, I think the tour guide's shy. Never mind. <laughs> Let's go back to the other horse. I think it's because he's unlicensed. Or if he, uh, if he is licensed, he's not wearing his, uh, his licensed lanyard. Got more horses coming through the tunnel, everybody. It's a troop of police horses uh, and they're coming right toward me. Look at this including a glorious grey. In fact, it looks almost like the trumpeter's grey. Wow. Can't see if there are five or six. Five. Look at this. Extraordinary, beautiful as well. <laughs> Bingo, what a morning. Okay, people arriving as usual with their luggage, look at this. <laughs> so, luggage plus happy faces. It's actually, a <laughs> it's actually a very good thing, uh, to my mind, that uh, most people that are arriving here are not going to get some pictures of the horses. There are, there are simply too many people. Massive Spanish group just turned up. Really 
<laughs> it's a pity, guys, that it wasn't the uh, the previous horse uh, that was here to deal with that problem, but never mind. the clock let me just check we are imminently due for the changeover yeah five minutes it's 54 minutes past right now <laughs> Away, but you can tell he's not really enjoying being touched too much this morning. Tiptoes to appear a bit taller next to the horse. Let's <laughs> hope that the nippy horse isn't out when the South Korean president decides to walk through, guys. That would be a real diplomatic incident. If the horse uh, decided to, to nip the South Korean president. Interestingly, something's happening. Yeah, looks like a protest or something. I don't know what it is. One second. Let me let me ask him what it is, folks. A lot of police around. Something's happening. Sorry. A protest this morning. A protest or something. What's happening this morning? Any idea what it is though? Monday morning? Just the oil, maybe, or something. Yeah, it's very odd for a Monday. Oh wow, yeah, suddenly getting a little bit busy over there, isn't it? Oh, okay, take it easy. Yeah, something, something happening, everybody. Let's pop over and have a little look. Lots of blue lights all over the place. And more importantly, I'm seeing massive, uh, massive swarm of officers in the middle of the road. Something's happening, I don't know what it is. Let's quickly have a look because um, it's just beginning, whatever it is. Notice the vans over there on the right-hand side as well pulling out. I did notice the body language of the officers at the gate. They kept on uh, listening to what was happening on the radio. And that is unusual, to be honest, because their duty doesn't involve the public highway out here. They are Ministry of Defence Police, not Met Police. So I'm going to quickly dash across the middle of Whitehall, find out what's going on. Talk about an unexpected Monday morning, eh? Flipping hell. I thought it was going to be a typical, easy, no stress kind of morning. You know, horses, tourists, did a bit of fun, laughter, and so on. But what on earth is going on here? Look. I need to go this way, otherwise, I'm going to get myself squished in with the traffic here. Hold on. I have no idea which group this is, but they've been almost, uh, it looks to my mind, kettled. One second, what is this? Just stop oil. Yeah, it's just stop oil again. What a surprise. And it looks to me like they got shut down immediately. <laughs> Look at these clowns. Unbelievable. The just stop oil protesters, that is, folks. A couple of absolute fruit loops. That explains it, anyway. That's why, suddenly, they were obviously thinking they're going to be smart and close down the traffic. 
but instead, uh, the police shot them down instantly. Good to see it. Now the police presence here for this is enormous. Look at it. These two officers were they sort of trying to shut down Whitehall again? Mini the, the shields for the, the people on the floor. I've got mini shields here. If oh, you really look who's over here. A friend of mine. Up, oh, who's this? And you could come in. Mini shield. I've only got one. Hold on a second. Who's bad. this? J200. What's he doing over here? Oh, they're making a little skit. Mini shield. He's down. He's down. Ah, look. Brilliant. One second. Let me talk to him. Hold on. Oh, wait. Gosh, absolutely rammed here. Wait, let's see what's going on over here. You are YouTubers. Maybe you have a microphone. Yes, Because my microphone basically broke. I think there. Uh, wait. There he is. He's not actually in the. Uh, in the just the oil movement. It's, it's, it's making some kind of skip for his channel.
so many police here for this. Unbelievable, isn't it, really? It's like a oh, what on earth is the that? Meanwhile, the uh, the protesters that are about to be arrested are still laying on the wet ground behind me. I'm, so, I'm talking to the, the camera guys. It's so cool. Yeah, they're still on the floor behind me. Obviously, as usual. <laughs> a lot of people actually believe. <laughs> oh goodness me! Wait, uh, the cameraman's right in front now. One second. This is ridiculous. Oh, they're confiscating vests. That's not on. No, they're
numbers here, look. Now with a sort of uh, they just stop call t shirt. Only took about what? About 15 officers? Well, I mean, I do admire the fact they did roll out the troops to deal with this because you know what? There are quite a lot of uh, supporters just up here as well. So if anybody tries to get involved or to stop their colleagues being dragged off, uh, it certainly will not last, that's for sure. Extraordinary thing to see, really. Anyway, folks, there we have it. Uh, I guess that seems an appropriate point to end today's video. I have no idea if it's going to be a problem because of the music that was played earlier. Um, yeah, played Michael Jackson. Anyway, they got them on the van and they're done. As if it never happened. But that was a lot of police for, what, three arrests? Four arrests? Crazy.